Alright guys, so starting off taking a look at the box art design, it's different from normal as in it's not an illustration but a collection of photographs and it's all looking very cool. I really love the style of this and it does really help to kind of show that it's the 40th anniversary with this collection of photos. It does kind of feel very nostalgic. On the ends of the box, we've got the 40th anniversary Machine and Krieger and Hasegawa logos there, the Falk and its art number over here. Same thing on the opposite end of the box but just inverted colors. On the top of the box, we've got some information here in Japanese. And over here, again, some credits, including some special thanks there. We've got the same information here on the bottom of the box in English, so I'll go ahead and put this on the screen for you guys. If you're interested to read a little bit more about the Falk there, you can pause the video and read up on that. Unfortunately, with this one, there's nothing on the bottom of the box or on the sides of the bottom of the box. There Sometimes there's art around on there as well. But, since we don't have that, we can just go ahead and get right to the contents. So we'll take a look at all the runners here in just a moment. But as you can see, the main color of the Falk is going to be in green there. Here's our waterside decals, our color card, and our instruction booklet. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. We got the SF3D to Machining Krieger 40th anniversary titling up there at the top. We got the 40th anniversary logo here, and then just some very nice line art there of the Falk. Some information down here just about the runners. On the back side, how to put on water slide decals. And then we've got our parts list here showing the actual runners themselves. And the rest of this is just going to be all the construction of the kit. But Im importantly, this manual does include some English. So it'll tell you, like, this is for the airframe front parts. That's what this section is. And this is the direction is noted. So just make sure you're paying attention to the direction here. Assemble with the order. So it's just very cool that it's including some English so that you don't miss anything. It's got notes for you there to make sure that you're putting everything together in the correct way. But here's a look at the color card, which of course is going to give you uh, your decal guide. So this is where all the decals are going to go, or that's what's recommended anyway. Then we also have some different color scheme options there for you, of course. On the back side here is this seems to be the one that's uh, what's on the box art and on the, the photos on the front of the box I should say and also the color of the runners would be this bomber cat second company color scheme there but this one is very cool as well the night ghost one there so I'm not even close to decided what kind of color scheme I want to go with with mine yet but this right here is really cool in with your water slide decals you also have a 40th anniversary sticker so I definitely got to find a good place to put that because I love that then of course we do also have the awesome water slide decals as well, which you also have a 40th anniversary decal there, which I'll probably have to go ahead and, and use that, because uh, how could you not? But some very cool decals on here, including just some smaller markings, things like that. These are for your instrument panels on the inside if you want to have the hatch open, which I'll, again, I'll have to decide if that's something that I want to do with mine yet or not. Getting into the runners, our A and B runners are going to be the two main halves, the top and bottom of the kit. As you'll see with a lot of these parts, you just got a lot of really great detail packed in on there. Here's runner C with our cockpit interior part, the iconic fins out the side, the iconic Yakult bottle out the back for the engine there. Runner D with a bunch more of our smaller pieces, including lots of little detail parts that you'll add on. And that's continued here onto runners E, F, and G, which are just some more of the smaller parts there. Those are all in green. It's only runner K, which is in a different color, which is in a kind of tannish color here for the pilot figures. Looks like we're going to have a standing one and a seated one that can go inside the cockpit. So those look very nice as well. So that is everything that you guys get in the box with this kit. I hope you'll join me for the live streams building this. I've never built a Falk before, so I'm very excited that the first one I'm going to be building is going to be the 40th anniversary one. And I do have a couple more in my backlog of previous releases of the Falk, so eventually we'll get to those someday. But I love this design and really looking forward to finally building one. Hopefully you guys will tune in and enjoy that. And then, of course, I'll show you my finished product when it's all done. But thank you all for checking out this quick unboxing video today. If you want to check out this kit or other Machining Krieger kits, we do sell them here at USA Gundam Store. The link will be down in the video description below. You can check out which ones are available there that you guys can buy or pre-order. And if you guys have any other further questions or comments, of course, do feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you all for liking the video and subscribing as well. Greatly appreciate it. Until next time, I hope you all are having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.